Let's visit the classwork page and grade some classwork. We have a question that has been answered and we have an assignment that has been turned in. Let's look at the question first. We can see that we have zero assigned still and one that has been turned in. We can click on view question and we can see the question and we can see all the students that have turned in answers, only one, <laughs> and we can see the answer. I think that the C is salt water. Over here we have a list of all the students that have answered and the points. Right now it is blank out of 10 points. She got the question right so we're going to give 10 out of 10. Now it's saving as a draft. It is going to remain a draft in here in the, um, in the assignments and in the gradebook until we return it to the student. Um, when I click return, it will be returned to the student and then it will be saved in the gradebook. So I'm going to click return. The student will be notified and we can check any grade. I can give a private comment if I want to, like great job or fantastic, or just leave it as is. I'm going to click return. And that is done and now it is set. I can't change it. Now let's go back. We're going to click on uh, our class name to go back, back to classwork, and I can see that I have zero turned on in, <laughs> zero assigned, and one that has been graded. I can click on the actual question that will close that up, and let's go down to our assignment. Open it up, and view assignment. Now when I open this up, I notice that I have like a little picture of the actual Google Doc. If you had multiple students, which most of you will, you would see all of them sitting right here. Now what's interesting about this is if they all create them inside the Google Classroom or if you create a template for all of them to be typing on and they all have their individual templates that they're writing on, then you can actually open these up while they're working on them and you can watch as they type and they work on their assignments before they turn them in and you can see their progress as they go. And you can even comment on them as they go and help them along the way without having to walk around the room, which is pretty interesting. And I found that students, especially your middle school students and your upper elementary, they really enjoy this and they kind of wait for the teacher to, to say things on their Google Doc. It, it's really exciting for them. So you notice that I clicked on this assignment and we had um, told the student to write a paragraph. She chose to write one sentence. So this is a case where we would like to leave some comments. Now we can leave private comments, but I actually want to use comments on the document itself. So we can add comments right here onto the document. So let's say I want to highlight this whole sentence and click add a comment. And I'm going to say the assignment stated to write a paragraph. Please adjust your assignment Oops. and resubmit. All right, so we're going to give them a chance to change it and resubmit. And I'm not going to grade it until they try again. So I'm going to return it with no grade. And that's going to give the student back their editing rights, let them try again, and let them turn it back in to me. And then we can do that and give them a chance to try again, let them learn from their mistake, and do better next time. If 
let's say they spelt a word wrong or they had a run on sentence or something, you could highlight exactly the part that was an issue and put a comment on that. I chose to highlight the whole thing, but when they click on the part that's highlighted, you'll notice that the comment kind of loops out so that they can see what the highlighted part, what comment goes with which part. And you can put comments all over the thing and then they can learn from their mistakes and and then they can fail forward instead of just saying, oh man, I got it wrong, and then going about their life without ever seeing a chance for improvement. So hopefully using this comment feature will help our students grow from their mistakes rather than just saying, ugh, I got it wrong, and then just being upset. So we've returned it. Let's go ahead and close that out. And we can see that instead of being turned in, now it's back to being assigned. So when the student returns to their Google Classroom, they will see that they have this assigned and they can go back in and they can look at their comments and then they can turn it back in.